What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you an inspiring person or message to help you discover how to unlock your inner greatness. And man, do we have an inspiring person today. In today's video, we're going to tell you how can one heal their body by the power of their mind. Are you prepared to alter your way of thinking and develop into a person who is better and more powerful than you now are? Let's sink in. But before we proceed the further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Magical formula that was kept secret by Dr. Self-Healing Method, Joe Dispenza. Connect with the intelligence inside you. When Dr. Joe Dispenza first set out on his quest to investigate and learn more about the mind's ability to cure the body, the first thing he did was ask a straightforward query, has anybody else done it? This question led him to 17 different nations and hundreds of people who had experienced unexpected healing from various health issues. He conducted interviews with all of these people. Dr. Joe began to recognize some patterns after conducting interviews with a large number of people and collating the results of his research. He discovered that people of all different racial and gender identities, as well as sexual orientations, might have spontaneous remission. People from all walks of life who experienced this kind of miraculous healing from the mind had four things in common, despite the fact that their backgrounds varied. The first one was that they all believed and accepted that there was an intelligence that lived within them, and that intelligence was responsible for giving them life. Dr. Joe Dispenza Dr. Joe claims that everyone possesses some kind of intelligence within them. There is a supernatural power that is responsible for our existence, and we are all interconnected with this force. But there are times when we can feel far from one another. More on that in a moment. We fall ill when we allow ourselves to become severed from the intelligence that nourishes and sustains us. As a result of our bodies becoming misaligned, we are more likely to suffer from illnesses and injuries. When this occurs, we will need to re-establish communication with the intelligence. It is necessary for us to cultivate a relationship with it. The second thing that happened was that they came to the realization that the root cause of their ailment was the improper management of their feelings, as well as the stress hormones in their bodies. Dr. Joe Dispenza Those who have had their ailment go into spontaneous remission are aware of the fact that their emotional responses and stress reactions are the root cause of their condition. When humans first appeared on the scene, their primary concern was to stay alive. We were in danger of being devoured if we did not remain vigilant and continuously anticipate potential dangers, such as predators. As a result, we formed the habit of constantly keeping an eye out for potential threats and responding to them as rapidly as we could. That response, known as the fight-or-flight mechanism, is at the basis of human stress. And this stress response is still ingrained in our brains in a very physical way. But here's the thing. There is no longer a requirement for the fight-or-flight reaction in the modern world. It is not very likely that a bear will consume you in the course of your regular life. And the fact that we are living longer and healthier lives now means that we are really holding on to that stress for longer and are living in a situation of nearly perpetual emergency. Our physical makeup is not designed to deal with that kind of stress. This unending state of worry and anxiety is the result of a chemical imbalance that takes place in our brains. It's the root of all of our health problems. To put an end to our illnesses and restore our health, it stands to reason that we should work to suppress this response, right? In this day and age of information, ignorance is a choice. Change your thinking and rewire your brain. We have to shift the way that we are thinking. They replied, Okay, so now that I know that, which was the third thing that they stated. It is not possible for me to mismanage my emotions and sentiments. I have to watch how I speak, and I have to become conscious of how unconscious I am. I told myself, Dr. Joe Dispenza, it is imperative that we become more self-aware of our thought processes. Take note of how you respond to the things that are going on around you. Consider the people in your life, including your family, friends, and coworkers, how do you typically interact with them? Consider the source of your stress. What exactly is causing it? How do you handle the pressure when it's on you? Now, think about the historical figures that you look up to the most. Who are some of the people you look up to? 
Think about the characteristics that you find admirable in the people who you hold in high regard, and then begin visualizing in your mind how you may cultivate those characteristics in yourself. Consider the people who have inspired you. How do they deal with stressful situations? If you are able to learn how to moderate your stress reaction and stop reacting negatively to your surroundings, you will be able to stop your mind from signaling disease-causing genes in your body. You have the ability to maintain your health and even heal yourself of diseases that you already have. The fourth issue is that, as they were going through that rehearsal process, they had extended periods of time where they lost track of both time and location. Dr. Joe Dispenza, those who engage in this behavior, that is, who practice modeling themselves after characteristics that they admire in others, put a lot of energy into it. They enter their imaginations to a great depth, and once there, they remain there for a considerable amount of time. Meditation is an effective method for accomplishing this goal. When you meditate, you train your mind to go slower. You put a halt to all of that wacky, fight, or flight business, and instead concentrate on the here and now. When you are in that frame of mind, it is much easier for you to visualize yourself behaving and responding in a more positive manner. In addition, picturing doing something is said to be equally beneficial to one's brain as actually carrying out the activity itself, as stated by Dr. Joe. When you are genuinely present, your brain does not know the difference between what is going on out there and what is going on in here, the researchers said. It turns out that the act of mentally rehearsing something changes the way your brain processes information. Therefore, at this point, the process of practicing who they are going to be, while at the same time, beginning to get into this creative condition, started laying the circuits of a new personality down. A new personality is inextricably linked to a new personal reality. Dr. Joe Dispenza, do not be frightened to sit quietly in meditation for extended periods of time. You may overcome your natural stress response and build healthy emotions by meditating and getting into that pleasant, tranquil headspace. This is because meditation causes your brain to rewire itself. This form of meditation can actually help you heal your body, which makes sense given that a healthy body is directly correlated to having healthy emotions. Isn't that simply incredible? The Challenge You Can Change Your Thinking Dr. Joe Dispenza has been a major source of motivation for me. His work is absolutely groundbreaking, and it is bringing so much relief to so many individuals. And here's the wonderful thing. Anybody can get something useful out of Dr. Joe's suggestions. They are not limited to persons looking for relief from chronic pain or suffering from a terminal illness. This kind of transformative thinking can lead to healthier emotional reactions as well as increased pleasure and abundance all of which are things that we, as a species, require. I wanted to have a conversation on the ways in which you and I can put Dr. Joe's ideas into practice in our day-to-day -day lives. Therefore, we came up with a task together. Try to stick to this routine for the next week, following these three actions each day. I can assure you that you will begin to recognize beneficial shifts in your mentality very quickly. Asking yourself, what is the greatest ideal of myself that I can be today? is a terrific way to kick off the day. The majority of people, when they first open their eyes in the morning, immediately begin to dwell on the difficulties they are now experiencing in their lives. And because those difficulties are memories from the past, whenever they think about their problems, they are thinking about things that happened in the past. Every one of those issues is connected to a feeling, and as a result, people begin to believe that they are unhappy, unworthy, or something else entirely. And since they are living in the familiar past, they are destined to live in the predictable future, right? Dr. Joe Dispenza, how often do you find that as soon as you open your eyes in the morning, your hand goes straight to your phone? We tend to spend a lot of time concentrating on everything that we have to get done, everything that we don't believe we are capable of doing, and everything that is wrong with the world. However, that is an extremely pessimistic way of thinking, and it is contributing to our health problems. I want you to begin the next seven mornings with a positive thinking. I want this to happen each and every morning. How can you improve today so that you are the best version of yourself? You'll be in a lot better emotional position to begin your day if you make the decision to be the version of yourself that is the happiest and most positive you can be. 
Since our emotional condition is directly tied to our physical state, maintaining a happy emotional mentality is not only beneficial for our minds, but it is also beneficial for our bodies. As we have already discussed, practice gratitude at the end of each day. According to Dr. Joe, the amount of study that has been done on the beneficial effects that thankfulness has on our brains is abundant. According to him, expressing thankfulness can set off around 1,200 distinct chemical responses in your body all of which contribute to the process of healing and restoring your health. Your body will benefit tremendously from regular gratitude meditations that focus on the positive aspects of your life and the blessings that you already possess. Therefore, for the next week, before going to bed on each night, spend a few minutes expressing gratitude to God. It doesn't matter if you do this in your head or in a notebook. The important thing is that you make the effort to cultivate an attitude of thankfulness. Acquire an acute sense of the environment in which you find yourself. The very act of opening your awareness starts the process of reducing the stress hormones in your body and creates more coherent brainwave states. I'm now in the process of doing it. It's nothing more than a rehearsal. And the more you engage in those activities, the better you will get at them. Dr. Joe Dispenza When you become more aware of your surroundings, you uncover a wealth of information about who you are. Your brain begins to comprehend its own stress reactions in response to the various items in your surroundings. And keep in mind that this comprehension is the essential element for modifying your unproductive thought patterns and reshaping your life in order to achieve higher achievement. You might consider this step to be similar to meditation. Spend some time in stillness and reflection on your surroundings for the next week, taking a few minutes each day to do so. Pay close attention to your surroundings and cultivate a profound awareness of them. When you sit down to meditate in this manner on a daily basis, you give your brain the opportunity to cultivate healthy responses to stress. This, then, is the secret to one's recovery as well as their prosperity and abundance. This concludes today's video. Did you like this video? And if you are going to adopt this secret heal your body through mind, then let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.